Okay, this is going to be a quick and simple video on how to update to the latest version of something on the MetaQuest 3. This should work on the MetaQuest 2 as well, but I want to walk you through this just in case you're waiting for a certain version. Go to settings. Once you get to settings, you will click on systems. It should be the first one there for you. Then go to software update and it will check software update for you. As you can see, for me, it says software update version um, 65 is available for me. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, Look down at my battery here, and it looks good. And then I'm going to click update because what you want, you do not want your battery to be going dead while it's updating. That might break your device. So once it's updating, you technically might want to plug it in if the battery low because you can update while you know the battery low it's just not recommended now i'm just chatting with you guys right now telling you guys a bit of extra information because of the fact that my battery is full so i don't really worry about that but that is something to keep in mind. Honestly, I'm surprised this update is available. Let's actually read it. Let's see. MediQuest build v65 includes pass-through improvements, mouse and keyboard improvements, and local multiplayer and boundary recall with meta virtual positioning system. If you have an iPhone with iOS 17 or later, you can also update panoramic photos and spatial video <clears throat> to your MediQuest headset using the MediQuest mobile app. I actually have an iPhone with iOS 17, I mean, yeah, or later because I have a iPhone 14 Pro. So that's Pretty cool. I mean, I don't do much with spatial audio, but it is nice to see that that is an option. Yeah, it is really nice to see. And of course, after the update finishes, you will hit restart to apply. I, once I hit restart to apply, of course, it's going to stop broadcasting and whatnot. So I think I'm just going to end the video off here. We went over what is in update v65. Now, this is how you update on most versions. It just so happened that I'm updating to v65. So, yeah, hopefully this has helped you in some way, shape, or form. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later. Mm -hmm.